Brothers and sisters, in terms of offering in congregational prayer, you should know that this week's offering, January the 9th, that is, is for Therefore Go Ministries, which, <clears throat> which you may not be familiar with, except you are. It's another one of those agencies and organizations that has changed its name recently. So it is for Youth Unlimited, as we maybe knew it in the past. Therefore, Go Ministries, that is Youth Unlimited. So consider that prayerfully as you, uh, yeah, consider what God may be calling you to give. Uh, in other pray, prayer requests and other pastoral things, we have, uh, please pray for Jean, for Guinness and Jean, for Jean's mother, who is uh, not doing very well. She uh, she is, I believe, 92 or something, um, but she is, her health is declining um, pretty significantly, and it's a uh, it's quite possible that she may not be here on this earth very much longer. So please uh, pray for Jean and for her uh, mother and for her whole family as well. Also, we want to uh, lift up our prayers. It's been it's been a while, um, but yeah, things have been a little bit topsy turvy. So um, this is uh, perhaps a little late coming to you. However, uh, please pray for Lindsay and for her family. Uh, Lindsay's grandmother uh, passed away uh, just before Christmas, I believe. So please, please pray for Lindsay and for her family and lift them up and, and share uh, God's love with them in whatever ways you can. We're also, uh, we want to gratefully and gladly praise God with Brian and Stephanie. They had a baby boy on December the 27th, Holton Christopher. And so we praise God that Holton and his mother and uh, the whole family are doing well. And we are just excited to bring that new life into this world. Brothers and sisters, <clears throat> just before we pray, I want to say a very deep and heartfelt thank you to all of you. I, I, yeah, as my family and I have gone through COVID ourselves over the past uh, couple of weeks, couple of three weeks, um, we have very much felt your prayers and encouragement through your emails, through phone calls, through just knowing that the Spirit of God is upon you and that you have been praying for us in love and support, and we are so grateful for that. Just uh, by way of an update, I, um, yeah, COVID ended up getting uh, three out of the five of the people in our family, including myself. I was the last one to get it. And uh, yeah, none of us particularly had super severe symptoms for which we are very grateful. Um, the, the only thing that's weird is that I cannot smell anything at all. But eh, oh well, we'll survive hopefully. I'll just have to be more careful when I have uh, milk that may be dubious. Not that milk is bad, milk is good. <laughs> So thank you so much for your support and your prayers and all of the things that you have done to take care of us as a family. We appreciate it very, very much. All right, let's come to God in congregational prayer. Father in heaven, we very much come to you together this morning in our hearts, wherever we may be uh, throughout this world. And we ask that you would, you would hear these, our prayers, knowing full well that you will. Lord, we are so grateful for so many ministries throughout this world, uh, ministries that have risen to the challenge of COVID uh, and who have risen to many other challenges in this world too. Lord, we thank you for Therefore Go Ministries, Youth, uh, Youth Unlimited, and all the work that they have done for many, many years, bringing youth to Christ and, and helping them with things like serve projects and, and lots and lots of different opportunities for young people and children to grow in their faith. Lord, as our offerings and tithes uh, come to you, Lord, we pray that you would, you would receive them joyfully, that they would be a pleasing aroma to 
your heart. And that we, we, we would give cheerfully. Lord, we pray very much in our congregation for all of those who are struggling this, during this time. Lord, there are those who are struggling with loneliness. There are those who are struggling with sickness. There are those who are struggling with so very, very many things. Lord, we pray that you will be with each and every one. Father, we lift before you, particularly this morning, Jean uh, and her mother and her family. Lord, we pray that you would comfort and strengthen them. We thank you so much for the reassurance of God, of, of your love for uh, Jean's mother and her whole family. Lord, we pray too that you will be with uh, Brian and Stephanie and Holton Christopher and the whole family, Lord God, we thank you for this new life. Lord, it, it uh, yeah, it is so good to see life carrying on and new life coming about. Um, we pray that you will pour out your blessing upon them. Father, we pray uh, very much for uh, Lindsay and her family. Lord, we pray that uh, as they grieve the passing of Lindsay's grandmother, that they will be comforted and strengthened, Lord. We pray as well, O oh Lord, for, uh, for all of those who are being so much affected by the current uh, numbers in Ontario here, uh, and in our area in particular, Lord, we think of teachers who have, uh, you know, who were thinking they were coming back from the break and then they had about two days to prepare, uh, two extra days of holidays to prepare uh, for online teaching and uh, trying, to, trying to do that. Lord God, we pray for them, but we pray also for the students and their families, Lord. We pray that you will once again strengthen students and families to, to go through online classes again, at least for a little while. And Lord, we pray that you will be with our provincial government and federal government, that you will give them wisdom, Lord. It is so difficult. I do not envy anybody in those kinds of leadership positions right now. Father, we pray. We pray very much that you will be with our health care workers as well, O oh God. Those who are working in long-term care homes, those who are working in hospitals and clinics and, and various other things, Lord God, we just, we pray for strength for them. We know that, that they are getting hit hard by COVID as well, and that in addition to that, they are also trying to take care of vulnerable people. Lord, the stress and strain for so many of them is so enormous. So, Lord, please have mercy upon them. Father, we pray, too, that you will be with all of those who are small business owners or workers at small businesses where they may have COVID amongst their employees and, and they, have to, they have to either shut down or they have to work with less staff than normal or whatever they have to do, oh God, please have mercy upon them. Father, we pray too <clears throat> that you will be with all of those in our congregation and us elsewhere who are struggling with the other things of life, uh, sicknesses and loneliness and so on that, that are not necessarily specifically related to COVID, we lay them all before you as well. And Father, we pray that you will help us as a congregation to continue to show love and grace and mercy to one another even as our opinions on various things may differ, uh, may even differ significantly, Lord, we pray that you will strengthen us to show grace and love to one another. Father, we pray. We pray for this whole world. And we pray, too, that you would open our hearts and minds to hear what you would have us hear, in the message as we come to that. We pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen.
Amen.